Time now for your need to know weather. I'm ABC 13 meteorologist Alita Loresco. Over the past few days, we have seen temperatures climb somewhere in the mid to upper 90s. And this late summer heat wave is going to continue with above normal temperatures. Average high for this time of year, 90 degrees. We will definitely surpass that, nearing some records as we close out the week. You factor in the higher humidity and those feels like temperatures surpassing 104. Heat Ridge will continue to build through the weekend and we are for we are in for a mostly hot and dry weather pattern. All of the messy weather, the storm track staying well up to the north or to the south. And you can see on average, not much in the way of rainfall. We get some higher rainfall totals in the northern parts of the state, but really here locally across southeast Texas, you'll be lucky if you get two one hundredths of an inch of rain. I mean, it is going to be few and far between around here for any sort of shower activity. We're talking less than a 20% chance. Afternoon temperatures, as I mentioned, should take us somewhere in the mid to upper 90s away from the coast along the coastline in the upper 80s to low 90s. We do have another ozone pollution watch today and also on Friday. It looks like we may see moderate air quality for Thursday. Looking at future track for today, expect some clouds to build in during the afternoon. Mostly sunny to partly cloudy conditions. And as I mentioned, that rain chance today and the next 10 days will be below 20%. As fall begins on Sunday, temperature readings may be down just a couple degrees. Hu humidity may slowly start to drop a bit by the middle of next week as we begin to see a little bit of a wind shift. Those easterly winds may drive the humidity levels down slightly. Otherwise, no major changes in the weather pattern. All right, that's a look at your Wednesday forecast. Thanks for watching.